Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. Remember in last week's video, I said in the next few weeks, I was gonna be showing you some things that were gonna be happening around the farm that were gonna be game changing. Well, this is one of the first ones. As you can see from the title, you already know what it is. 2023 Kawasaki Mule SX. This is what I wanted. I wanted a utilitarian, the basic utilitarian vehicle that you could get offered by Kawasaki. And this is it right here. I've literally been on the waiting list for 12 months for this. They've been making the higher end Kawasaki mules, but they haven't been making the, the entry level farm utility. Because I think the market is going more towards the high performance side by sides, the ones that you can go 50 miles an hour in, have the lights and the radios and the lift kits and the big wheels and tires, go to the off-road parks up in Tennessee and the Carolinas and Kentucky. But like I said, I was just wanting the utilitarian ranch style vehicle. They introduced the SX in 2017 and I am pretty sure that they have not changed anything on it since 2017. I guess if you got something that works, stick with it. But I love the fact that it doesn't have any doors so you can just jump on and off of it. You know, all the bigger models, they all have doors and, you know, it's just something you got to contend with. It's got the brush guard up front. It's got the mirrors, the roof. The mirrors in the roof are not factory. They were added and I was getting a windshield on it, but they didn't have any. So I'm going to have to order that and put that on. Has 1,100 pound towing capacity. Does not come with the trailer hitch, but I'm gonna add one right down here. I can get a factory one or an aftermarket one. Has a dump bed on it. The dump bed has a capacity of 400 pounds. Has a 4.2 gallon fuel tank. Two passengers with seat belts. Has a large glove box up here in the front. If you wanted to carry something larger. And it's got a rubber seal on it to keep the dust out. The dump bed has a latch right down here undo that latch grab this handle and flip it up that exposes the 401 cc air-cooled engine underneath the driver's seat there's a hole right there and you can buy an aftermarket cubby to go in there and it has a rubber gasket that seals along there to keep the dust out so I may get one of those. The air box is right here. The air box intakes are here and here, and they go through the roll cage on this. And the air intake is all the way up here at the top. And that's not for a deep water fording or anything like that. That's just so that you can suck in as clean of air as possible to your engine so that you're not sucking in a bunch of dust from down here at ground level going down dirt roads and being off road sucking up pollen and stuff the dump bed has tailgate feature to help get all of your dirt sand gravel rock out has 22 by 11 by 10 Duro tires on it. And up front, it's got 22 by nine by 10s. Got two halogen headlamps above the brush guard. Driver station's very simple. 
Got a grab handle for the passenger. Got a glove box, 12 volt outlet. Gear selector, which is just reverse, neutral, and forward. Headlight switch with high and low beam. Illuminates blue when it's on. Ignition switch. Got a digital fuel gauge and an hour meter. A parking light for when your emergency brake is on. And a rear differential lock if you need to get out of a, need a little bit of help to get out of a sticky situation. Choke two cup holders that glove box is up there in the front and then you can see the mirrors it has a top speed of 25 miles an hour which is more than fast enough to do what you need to do around your farm or your home having this around the farm is going to make life a lot easier running around being able to do fence maintenance and spraying. I'm gonna be able to put my 35 gallon electric sprayer in the back. It's got a boom sprayer on it that sprays about 15 feet. So I, I can go out and hit the road out there. And then it's got a wand that I can carry in my lap and just ride around and do spot spraying. I can throw the girls harnesses in the back or any type of tools or anything and run around and do maintenance. The reason I wanted the SX again is because, you know, this is the utilitarian vehicle for the farm and the ranch. And the SX is the smallest one they make. It'll, it'll fit in the bed of a pickup truck. <clears throat> S meaning small and X meaning strong. It's just kind of a pain in the butt to get someplace uh, with the truck. You know, it's um, tight quarters, not being able to make the turn just various different reasons why you can't use your truck to do stuff. So, I, like I said, I was on the wait list for this thing for 12 months. They were making the higher end models, but they just weren't making the entry level model. And there's a lot of people out there that want the entry level for their home and their ranch and their, their farms and that type of stuff. So, I'm super excited about having this. I could have used it a long time ago, but I'm glad I got it now because I'll be able to go forward from this point on and I won't have to walk near as much around on the farm as I have been and it's just it's going to be a huge addition so anyway I appreciate you watching this week remember who you are be kind to those around you stand up for what you believe in